Hey everybody, it's Baseball435, and today we're going to start um, getting into networking. So I'm going to get you guys set up with um, a library called Cry CryoNet, I guess is how you pronounce it. Pretty much it's a networking library that kind of simplifies things for you a lot. Um, makes things very easy to use, but after this, after we do this, we're making games. Um, next thing is going to be a simple echo server. Pretty much you say something and the server says it back. Just basics to get into it. Um, after that, we'll make a chat client and then probably a game after that. So um, to get started, I want you to have Eclipse open and also internet. Once you have that, we're going to go to Google and we're going to Google and we're going to type in CryoNet. And it should be the first link. Just click on it and it'll take you to another link here. So we're going to go to the GitHub one. And then inside of here, um, simply click download zip and it's just going to give us all the files for us. And then I'm going to show you what to do after that. So let me go into here into this file and go into clips. So and I'm sorry I'm going quick, I'm just going to make it a short video, short and sweet. You can pause it if you need to. Um, so go to Eclipse and create a new project, I'm going to call it um, Cryo Setup for now. Um, and inside here we're pretty much going to have nothing. Uh, okay, let me delete these things. I don't know what they are, I don't know what this is. Alright, so Cryo Setup, we're going to have... Alright, give me one second. Delete this. <laughs> um, okay. Cryo. We'll just, we'll just call it Cryo for now. Um, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. Um, Alright, so when we're inside of here, what we're going to do is first we're going to create a new folder. So right click on the project and click New, and then Folder. And we're just going to call it Libs, and then press Finish. Um, then go to this file here, go into the Build folder, drag all of them into Libs, and make sure it says Copy Files, click OK. And then go to uh, Lib in here, and drag all these and just drop it into there and click OK. Then right click on Cryo or whatever your project is, go to Properties and then make sure in Java Build Path. Then go up to Libraries up here and click on Add Jars. Now go into your project, so in my case it's Cryo, go to the Libs and then press on the top one. You can you can go to the, each one individually or you can do um, you can hold down Control and then click or you can just press Shift and click it at the bottom and it'll pretty much go from all the tops. So once you have all of them selected, or one by one, just click OK, and then it'll add them to our um, to our project. And then what we're going to do, the final thing we're going to do, is first I want you to... No, that work. Okay, first I just want you to go into the source, and where it says com, just drag this into the source folder here. This is going to be the easiest, easiest way to do it right now. Um, now we're pretty much set up, so let's create a new uh, class. So I'm going to call it main, and pretty much all we're going to do is inside of the public static void main, we're going to scroll down on this GitHub page. I want to copy this code right here. So copy that, and then paste it into here, and then import the server. And now if you run it, it should get a, yeah. To click on add throws, or you can just surround with, whatever. This is going to be like a temporary thing. So um, once you're inside of it, just click on that, and then click play, or run, whatever, and it should say server open. Um, and it should just start working from there. So that's how you set up CryoNet. After this, we're going to be creating a simple echo server and chat client. So uh, stick around, go to the next video, and uh, thanks for watching, guys.